Hello. Hi. It's us again. New week. Yep. Interesting week. <laughs> Yesterday we walked into the shop to discover that there was a leak in the ceiling. There are apartments above our shop and apparently one of the supply lines for somebody's shower had a hole in it and it leaked. Um, <laughs> luckily for us, it went into a light fixture. That doesn't sound like a luckily, but it is. Yeah, somehow it didn't, it didn't like, short damage out the, light, the light, thankfully. But it sort of ran and then went into the middle of the shop instead of right onto all of the fabric that's right underneath the leak. So our fabric is fine. All of the patterns are fine. Our floor is a little messed floor up. Is messed our, up a couple of our tiles are messed up, but those are easily fixed. That's replaceable. If it had been on the fabric, the video would just be like us <laughs> sobbing <laughs> despondently because, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we had a great meetup today on Saturday. This is mm -hmm. Saturday. Yeah. We had a really great uh, stitch up today. Lots of people came, mm -hmm. um, so that was cool. Um, yeah, and we got lots of new stuff in. Yes, it was a good week for like brand yeah. new things. We refilled most of our DMC holes. Mm -hmm. um, we're working on filling our classic color works. Classic color works week dies. Yeah, we have an order put in for Weeks Dye Works and the Gentle Art Threads. Um, I was hoping they'd come in this week, but they didn't make it. So next week. Yeah. Fingers Hopefully. Crossed. Fingers crossed. But yeah, and uh, we've got to place an order for classics color, Classic Color Works now that we have our inventory sort of put in order for that. Mm -hmm. So inventory. <laughs> it's so much fun. Um, we have some new stuff we're going to show you on video here. And let's see what else. I've got one of our, we've got a, we're on a very busy street. Um, <laughs> Thanks for honking, buddy. <laughs> um, we have some Jardin Privé uh, patterns, like this one, which is really cute, and I want to stitch it. Um, yep, and we got some Halloween ones also yes. that I don't have right here. I'll have to find them and take a picture of them. Um, we got those in. We got in a new designer. She actually stopped by the shop. Yeah, she actually came in the um, store. And showed us all of her stuff. Froney Ritter Designs. Um, her stuff's been featured in Just Cross Stitch. Mm -hmm. um, but we have just a couple to show you as an example. Some, like Celtic, Celtic designs. ornaments. Which I like that kind yeah. of stuff. And then also little wine charms that come as kits that come with the uh, canvas, canvas and, and the thread and, thread the and all that kind of stuff. That they're on. But look at the cute little charms we've That's got a couple adorable. different themes for that like there's a birthday theme i believe um a celtic one and I and wine and then that i think yeah, that's there's what we one grabbed like wine country and grapevines and stuff they're yeah. super cute we've and got one of her larger patterns which is an angel um if you follow Oh, we got sublime stitching in, which I believe yes, that's going to be part in of our video video mm -hmm. thing. Um, we can cut that in. Yeah. And super excited about that. I love sublime stitching patterns. That's like my go-to when I need to stitch quick gifts for people <laughs> because <laughs> embroidery is just a lot faster for me to do and finish than cross stitch. And mostly, I'm just doing like line work embroidery, not fancy fills really or like anything like that. Or but I'm, I'm getting there. Um, but yeah, we have her patterns in, um, including the Gemma Coral portfolio, mm -hmm. which is super cute. We'll put a link into Gemma Coral's art um, below. Yeah. And we also got in some of the floss packs, embroidery, uh, the, her embroidery floss comes in little palettes of different colors that you can use for her designs or for anything else, but they're really pretty. Um, also got in the f okay this is the thing that sublime has that nobody else has that I love are the uh, iron-on transfer pens that she sells they're really like 0.5 millimeter fine tip pens and you use them basically to trace or draw your design and then onto um, uh, tracing paper sorry it's been a long day uh, onto tracing paper and then you can iron it directly onto your fabric and then you can usually get like one or two at least maybe even three irons out of a single 
drawing that you've done. Um, they're great and they're easy to stitch over. It's easy to hide the lines um, and it works better. Like I've tried embroidering stuff with like the um, water soluble pens and stuff and the tips are just too fat. Basically you can't hide the lines easily enough. It doesn't always wash out all the way. Um, when yeah. I tried it, I tried using the um, water soluble pen on linen one time and it, oh, it was a disaster. It sort of spread, but I love the uh, Sublime Stitching Pens because we have a pretty nice little collection of them. If you can buy the shop, you can check them out. Um, and We also uh, got the Gemma Coral Needle Minders, needle minders which are yeah. going very quickly, so we might need to reorder yeah, them. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Yeah, it's a little pug in a and anyway, here are, here's the pen. We have tip. different colors too. Yep, we have uh, black, uh, red, blue, green, green, and orange. It just sort of depends on the fabric that you're stitching on and the color of the floss that you're using as to which one you prefer to use. Um, I generally just like the black just because it gives me a nice good line to look at and it transfers really well. Um, here, excuse me, it's been a long day. <laughs> Here is the Gemma Coral, she calls it Hoop Flare. They're cute little needle minders. Look at it, it's a pug and a pumpkin. That's the cutest, I love it. And uh, just as an example, you kind of see this in the little video we shot, but here's the Gemma, Gemma Coral portfolio. It's quite large and it has um, quite a few patterns in here. So as you can see, they're all iron-on transfer sheets so you don't have to trace anything unless you really want to. But um, that's really adorable, and I love Gemma Coral's art so much. And then just an example of one of the other uh, embroidery transfers that we have from Sublime is her uh, Mexican Loteria embroidery transfer pack. This is one this of the large ones. The other packs we have are smaller. This one has several sheets in there, and um, yep, it's like a little card game. But yep, it's nice. I like, I like that with Sublime you can go really basic or you can get really fancy with how you fill and color and that kind of stuff. Um, so it's really nice and uh, versatile both for learning how to stitch and if you already know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So it's cool, I'm glad have, we're carrying it. I have a bag that one of my friends made, hi Tish. Um, and I believe it has sublime stitching patterns on it. It's like little pinup librarians and like oh, little yeah, books yeah. and stuff. Cause I think I have, I have, I have a master's that one at home. <laughs> library science. Um, but yeah, so we're, They're very cute. we're excited about sublime. Um, I'm looking forward to stitching some sublime stuff after I finish my cross stitch things that mm. I'm working on right now. Um, Speaking of which, yep, Speaking we have of, them. Here's mine. Still working on that little crow ornament. I just haven't had a whole lot of time for stitching because we've been working in the shop, and then by the time I get home, I'm just like, and then our roof. Want to like, play video games? Came through. But yeah, <laughs> here's my crow, almost to the bottom of the tombstone, and then I'll finish this part of the tombstone and put in the back stitch lettering. But, yep, I'm really liking this thread a lot. It's a, the Gentle Arts Raven, so it's sort of variegated between black and then sort of a dark olive green. It looks really cool, especially on this pattern. I'm doing Pretty Little Los Angeles, Satsuma Street, on 18 count Fiddler's Ada. And scooch it in a little bit more here. I've gotten the Chinese Theater, whoop, Chinese Theater, Capitol Records, and then whatever this white thing is. <laughs> I'm trying to go from somewhat of the middle outward just so I... have don't mess up my pattern. Um, I managed to get this 18 or 11 by 17 on my Q-snap. It's very, like, just barely this is on just there. barely on there, so I have to be careful with it, but I got it. And so far it's going okay. It's just, I was getting tired of that Capitol Records building. It's like, how many more rows of this do I have to do? But yeah, so far it's going well. And I really like the, the way this looks on the 18 count. I don't think I've done 18 yet, but I like the like neat little tiny stitches. Mm -hmm. Zoom in there. But yeah, it looks really nice so far. So I may just constantly stitch on 18 count now. <laughs> um, I don't think we have anything else new in the shop. Um, oh, our scissors. Oh we've yeah, got, scissors. Like, um, we've gotten some hoops and more needles in, like the Boan needles, which I really like. I don't know if you stitch with Boan needles or what your opinions are on them, but I've never used them before and just started using them a few weeks ago and I love them. They're very smooth. Yeah, and I need to order some more petites because mm -hmm. I've gotten into using the petite needles just because, and I don't have to play quite as much thread check-in when I get <laughs> to the end of a row. But yep, we have these cute little embroidery scissors. They are very inexpensive. 
um, how much do I have them for? They're $6 each, so not the best scissors you'll find, but they're cute and they, they come in. get the job in, done. Yeah, they get the job done. They come in green, purple, and teal. Like teal green, yeah. Yeah, they're very cute, and they're the stork style mm -hmm. scissors, so yeah. Got those in. Um, put these back. We've got some more fabric in, but it's mostly like neutral. We have that one really fancy blue that I had ordered for a um, a customer and I cannot find her information anywhere. <laughs> yeah, our special order spreadsheet did some weird stuff. It so. either ate it or we lost the the note that had her information on it, which is really stupid because I'm not that, Yeah, I don't do that. I usually write everything down, then put it in our system, but yeah, no clue. So if you wanted royal blue linen, please contact us. We yes, <laughs> or if you're interested in it, feel free to come in because I think there's more than enough to cover her projects as well yeah. as because it's a whole bolt of it um, so yeah if you really want a pretty blue uh linen i forget what the count is but i don't remember <laughs> please buy it i have to brag for a minute these are the scissors that my husband got me they're from ernest wright and sons in england which is now out of business because mr wright passed away and his sons couldn't keep the business open which is unfortunate because we they're, wanted to like yeah, try and be a we wholesale wanted to for, carry these. for them they are handmade and so they put together by hand, sharpened by hand, everything is done by hand, and they are the nicest scissors I have ever put my hands on. <laughs> like the Bowen scissors are very nice. These are beautiful. And I keep kind of hoping that we'll be able to like get in touch with them and get some of their leftover stock or something yeah. like that. But I, I just have to brag, my husband found that and that's like the best <laughs> gift ever. I love them. Um, but yeah, so. Unfortunately, yep, like I said, they're out of business, so. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. Yep, not much to talk about this week. Um, well, we got a lot of stuff in, but it's uh, mostly just, here, we, look at this video. Yeah. It, instead of us holding it in front of the camera. Uh, we're also on our Facebook page, we're doing like our pre-order stuff yeah. on there. Um, just because it's a little bit easier than the Google Forms we've found, for at least for our customers, it's a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, if you still just want something, just get in touch with us too. If you don't want to go to Facebook or you don't have a Facebook page that you can interact with us mm -hmm. through, um, but just if you email are on us. Facebook, it's an album with all it's the pictures of the new stuff that we've that are, that's coming out, and basically, mm -hmm. it's just letting us know either that you want us to order it for you, or if we order it to put one back for mm -hmm. you. So just look through there, look through the images, make a comment, and say I want this, and then we'll get in touch yeah. with you about it. Um, and if you're picking it up in store, you don't have to pay us mm -hmm. prior to if you're going to order it to be sent obviously yeah. please pay us yeah <laughs> you'll have to like message us and give us your email yeah. address and we can send you an invoice just don't do it in the comments on here just email us or yeah. get in touch with us via like facebook messenger or something like that just so we don't have your private information out there yeah <laughs> um yep our email is star at starlightstitch.com we will put um, it down here however this animates i forget yep <laughs> and um we're <sighs> I keep saying this about the website that we're working on the website. We are really working on it really though because working. we've gone through different providers and are Not, having issues yeah. with finding ones that provide the things that we want in a relatively easy format and that's with and that are budget. ungodly expensive. Yeah. That I realize that's like a triangle <laughs> issue where it's like you can have one of these two but not all three. Yeah. Thing, but. I don't think the Venn diagram would like reach in the middle there, but um, if you know anybody, <laughs> yeah, or you know we're any talking, providers. my husband's a programmer, and so he's we're talking about solutions to getting it yeah. online. We were going to use Weebly, and it sticks with Square, which is what we're using mm -hmm. as our point of sale in the store, and that and would we don't be great. So want then to we change that. Yeah, so then we would like have it. to update two different inventories for the same products and stuff like that except that Weebly doesn't have a way to just automatically alphabetize product listings I'm like <laughs> yeah how do you not have that functionality Weebly I'm so disappointed even the guy we talked to seemed a yeah, little the guy that annoyed the, the that he doesn't have it either was like I'm sorry that we don't have this but we just don't right now yeah. I'm like yeah that you really need it buddy um because you know he's like well you can drag and drop them like I have currently over 900 so products much in there stuff. and now we have like I don't even know how many. I'd have to look at the I'd look at the inventory count again. It's but. not even all of the no. Like, it's, it's a nowhere fraction near. of what we have. I was in like, here. I can't do this by hand, and I don't want to download it to a CSV, realphabetize, and then upload it. It's like you just need to push a button that says alphabetize. <laughs> Ta-da! So I'm talking to my husband, the programmer, to see if he can 
help us with something and we'll we'll get it up eventually but again like we said if you want to order something if you see something in the video or like behind us in the shop mm -hmm. here and would like to order it or have it sent to you just let us know and yeah. we will get it mailed we're happy to do that for yeah you. we can invoice you through our square system that's mm -hmm. that's fine that's yeah. we've got that we've figured got out that stuff worked out it's just the website end of things has been a lot trickier than we expected it to be yeah so bear with us and yeah so anywho i think that's about it that's for this about week it. i'm looking forward to having a weekend to just relax around the house after the stress of yesterday walking in and finding a giant leak in the ceiling <sighs> um but yeah yeah watch some tv stitch do some stitching play some video games <laughs> <laughs> i have too many hobbies <laughs> read read books yeah I Are you guys reading any interesting books? Tell us in the yeah. comments what you're reading. We love books, books, obviously. <laughs> we book people. She's a librarian. I have a master's in English that I'm not really using for anything. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk about books. Um, yeah, I've. Do you guys listen to audiobooks when you stitch? I do that sometimes. I also I tend to listen to more podcasts, or I put like a TV show on that I don't really have to pay too much attention to, or like a murder show. <laughs> Like, if it's set in England and there's, like, a murder happening, that's usually what I'm watching while I'm stitching. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'll watch, like, Stranger Things yeah. or something. But I don't <laughs> stitch too much at home just because I have a nearly two-year-old who likes yeah. running up at random points and I don't want to poke her with a needle or anything like or that. Or have her steal or have it. Or grab the needle. she's got little tiny hands that get on everything. And she gets really interested in mm -hmm. things that we're doing. So, yes. yeah. Once she's older, I'll teach her how to stitch so that she can do it on her own. But at this age, she's just like, mommy. <laughs> her daughter talks with this adorable uptick. Yeah. So everything she says is, it sounds like mommy, a question. <laughs> baby, swimmy, pool. <laughs> so yeah, she's a, she's, she's starting a to string kid. sentences together too. Yeah. We're getting like four word sentences mm -hmm. out of her. It's pretty amazing. And it's funny too. <laughs> Because <laughs> she'll just come out with the most random things. Like otters. She's she's obsessed with otters right now. Otters, swimmy, ocean. <laughs> otters, swimmy, ocean, water. Baby oh, swim. Baby swim, ocean. <laughs> yes. We took her to Not the... in Oregon, though. No, we're too cold. It's too cold. If you can swim in Oregon's oceans, I, I salute you. You're, you have way more stamina. And she wanted to stay. We took our friend came to visit from Canada a couple weeks ago so we went out to the coast mm -hmm. and we took her to the Oregon Coast Aquarium which is great yeah um and then we went to the beach and it was freezing <laughs> it, it was, was really very windy. windy and cold and, but the baby like slip her she calls her flip-flops uh, slippers because her family's Hawaiian um so slippers off and like mm -hmm. just wandered through this little like river that had come yeah. from the tide going out i don't know if there's a special name for it but it's just like a little it was a, stream it's a creek or something that cuts across the sand there and yeah so yeah just we could she not get her out in. of there <laughs> yep we had to just sort of pick her up and carry her back <laughs> across but she had fun she loves the beach i think i've produced a tiny mermaid <laughs> yep but yeah so fun she's times good swimmer she's doing baby swimming lessons mm -hmm. yep she loves being underwater we always have to again like pick her up and carry her out of the pool because she would live there if she could yep but anyway thanks for watching yep. um we will see you guys next week um just follow us on social media to keep up with all the stuff that's going on in the shop and bye, bye.